If I had to sum the movie up in one sentence, it would be... Just a little harsh. What's going on, guys? Did I, did I do that right? I, you know what? That's more of an accent. I'm Vibe. <laughs> it's Garbanzo here, guys. And we're here to discuss the non-spoiler review of Thor Ragnarok. Um, I didn't like the movie. Thanks for tuning in. Geek Bros. I need explanation because... All right, there's... All right, let, can... let's bring it down. I didn't like it, so I'm done. I don't think that's to say. You like the movie. Obviously. Uh, so why did you like the movie? Okay, well, like is a strong word. You enjoyed the movie. I, I, I enjoyed the movie because I enjoy the movies. Because the, the, the movie Garbanzo loves movies. I want to like this movie. I want to like it because you know what? The reviews that I read and people, I, I know this, and at the same time, part of me watched it and was... This was the opposite for me. I went into Suicide Squad knowing I was going to hate the movie, walked out loving it. I walked into Thor knowing I would love it and walked out not liking it. I looked over at Garbanzo several times during the movie and said, What am I watching? What am I watching? What am I watching? The... <sighs> exactly. Shh. No, no. I can, get some, I can find something. <laughs> the cinematics. Yes. And it was 80s spectacular. The idea was good. Idea. I actually enjoyed um, the good would be the how they played off of Thor and Hulk. That was funny. Yeah, it was. I enjoyed that. That was the the, 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 the the character intros that they talked about, which I'm not going to spoil in this review. Okay. Um, I I do like how that came in. Even the quick little flashback, the mm -hmm. backstory, and kind of like, that kind of like I I, I get it. I I, I kind of liked how they did that. Um, uh -huh. I'm not a I'm not gonna mention what I don't like because that's not, not yet. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. I like Valkyrie. I like Valkyrie a lot. I have to say this. Not just that she's incredibly attractive, but mm -hmm. because I liked her character. It was fun. Uh, um, and and I and I, I have to agree with you 100. I think out of all the characters, I mean, Hella was sort of kind of Hella. <laughs> Hella was Hella. Okay, Hela was I will Hela. say this though. Like it, the. Is this, what, is, this, is this part of the good? Is she, is she no, no, yeah, 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 no, no. Okay. They they took her off the comic book page and put her on the screen. Okay. Uh, when it, we're talking about full on outfit, mm -hmm. what she does, how she does it, uh, Fenris, uh, 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 Fenris when he the the, the wolf, um, these are all actually the the reasons why Ragnarok happens now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. Um, Doctor Strange. I mean, it was a little over the top at, at one point, but that cameo was good. Do you mean? For the spoiler review, they already knew he was going to be in it. No, he didn't. He was, see, no, it was an end credit scene in Doctor Strange. No, uh, what? Yeah, so they know that he was going to be in it. No, you don't know that. You don't know the specifics of it. But you see, that's not a spoiler. That was pretty fun. I enjoyed that. That is not spoil. That is not a spoiler. Fine, fine. Well, non spoilers. I mean, actually, actually that... I didn't tell you the actual specifics of what happened. Okay, I'm, but gonna, it was I'm fun. gonna say that that whole that whole scene incorporation with that that was actually one of my favorite parts of it was life. funny but then they, they took it too far it's like the, the punchline they kept doing a punchline over and over and over and over they pulled the peter griffin ah. 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 Yeah. what else there's gotta be more yeah 
<laughs> he said no. The, the fighting scenes were fun to watch. Buckley's flashback was good. That was that beautifully was done. Wow. This, okay, look, the, cinema, the, the cinematography that was some, overall. That was some Zack effects. Snyder 300 type stuff right yes, there. Absolutely. That was beautiful. Yeah. No, okay. This, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I thought it was a pretty movie. The fight scene with, with Hulk and Thor, honestly, I enjoyed watching it. I felt that I may have, uh, well, I would have enjoyed this a lot more if I was, say, like... Completely surprised? No, no, um, 12. <laughs> it felt like a complete and total filler again. I like the Dark World more than I like this one. The Dark World had stakes, it felt legitimate. They made this, uh, it was a satire of Thor. They made a mockery of Thor. I didn't like... I didn't like Thor in this version. His character completely, he was he was far too much of a comedian. Um, well, he downplayed... I mean, <clears throat> look, I am going to say this. Mm -hmm. before, and I'm going to interrupt you, and I apologize about this. Mm -hmm. He wasn't like... I mean, yes, he was... It was the na naivety that he that he showed in the first movie. That, that was kind of... that's what was funny. He was he was organically funny because of, you know, he was he he had the bravado. He was naive. That's why it was funny. You see what I'm saying? Like Thor was funny in movie one. Thor had his moments in movie two. But in this movie, he was a goofball. Your home planet is in danger, and you're cracking jokes the entire time. I mean, can we can we? <laughs> I mean, there's quips. And then it's just, just being absent-minded and completely oblivious to what's really going on. This is the way it came off for me. Mm -hmm. All right, you have someone who um, is literally sees himself up here, loses everything, and then just kind of like just courses trying. To, he's literally just coursing right now. And then and toward, towards the very end, which you have to agree with me, he does get a lot more serious when he actually realizes that the stakes are what they are. When he was still cracking jokes when, when uh, during the final battle. The final battles. He didn't. There wasn't a serious moment. There wasn't a serious, heartfelt moment in the entire movie, in my opinion. That's not true. Oh yeah. Oh, looking in, in, in Norway. In Norway. In Norway. What? When, when, they, when there were the three characters were there. That was not heartfelt. Yes. Okay. Watch. That's another thing. What they did with. Um, I'm not happy with it either. Do not get no, me wrong. It was. It was abrupt. It was brief. And it was stupid. I didn't like what they did with with Odin. That was the bad. I didn't like it. I liked the scene. It was too quick. It was too abrupt. And then right, right after, you didn't even have a moment to breathe before Hella arrived. Well, good to tell you speaking. I, I can't say one other word for it. Was, I, I'll, I'll explain more in the spoiler. In the spoiler, in the, spoiler. The, the comedy was great, but it was it. It didn't belong. And sometimes it felt forced. All of it was forced. Not all of it. They threw so much at you. And, but but none of it was any substance. It was like eating a bunch of junk food with no nutrition value, and ooh, so you're full. Ooh, it's like someone says, "Hey, I got I I made you some corn, and it's candy corn." Yeah, pretty much. There was no nutritional value, so I'm I'm still trying to digest what I watched, but I have no real substance to present, and that's my problem with this movie. Okay, that's uh, the bad. Okay, but that's okay. Actually, that'd, that'd be more like a WTF because like yeah. really, there's like uh, WTF, dude. How they treated. The Warriors 3, that was so unfortunate, that, that actually, and that was that, that terrible. Was... Except for the, the, the Asian one, he, they gave him a halfway decent um, situation. situation, but I mean, the other guys, like, like what was the point? You uh, just, you the, just wrote the, them off screen. I... Why would you call these actors back for 30 seconds? Okay, this is not a spoiler. We all knew that James Foster's character wasn't going to be in this movie. It ended up being just, it's a, it's a, it's a freaking... They a Transformer freaking 3 her! Yeah. Basically. That's it, that's what they did! Mjolnir, yes. The destruction of the hammer. That's the ugly. That's... Wow. Why? And you saw that in the trailer, so it's just that also, in that whole scene, you didn't give it a chance to breathe. And I'm sorry, Thor didn't seem too broken about it. He seemed like he did. Well, he talked a lot. They about were it. making fun of him about it. He was well, just kind of like, no, he talked I about it like, his, like his I lost my hammer, and you know, it's kind of still still fresh. But I know you for work. That's how it came off. He didn't even gather the pieces. So well, I, that was not his fault, though. Oh, it wasn't his fault. No, of course not. It wasn't fault. No, of course not. It, it really wasn't, though. Grab your pieces of your hammer. When? When you're when you're actually when you're in mid stride, and then all okay. of a sudden someone goes and you're gone. Hold on now. Hold on now. In the dark world. 
the, the ether is being taken. He had plenty of time to cradle fake dead Loki. Yes? To have that... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Again, he, couldn't have he time to wasn't... Go. But he what? wasn't... Okay. Because... It's, 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 again, it was because of Loki that, 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 he, that he didn't have a chance I, to. Agreed. Agreed. But... I mean, come on now. He could have just stood there. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, he was not. He was in he, mid-stride. He mid-stride, was stride, mid-stride. To, stride. Stride. to attack yes. Hela. Yes. Not to get the pieces of, of Mjolnir. We don't know that. We do know that. No, no, we don't. Right now, you're just speculating, sir. They gave him the helmet, what right? helmet? The helmet, because in the comics, he has the helmet oh. with, the, with the wings. He had that same helmet in Thor 1. He just didn't keep it on very long. The CGI, the dog. Um, and the only reason why I'm putting the only reason I'm putting it on the ugly is it would have been so much more cool if Inhumans didn't do it first on TV. Ooh. And that's what bothered me when I, when I looked at it. I just thought of Inhumans. Um, Hello, the goddess of of death and destruction. Okay. Who is who is Thor's and Loki's older sister? Spoiler. Um, so. <laughs> no, but they they, they said. They never, it. Wait, did he say it? I saw no promotional material. All right, we'll, we'll cut that out. <laughs> She 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 kicked, pushed. She kicked the crap out of them in the Rainbow Bridge. Believe okay. it or not, I didn't know yeah. you could fight in the Rainbow in the little Rainbow. Thing. Well, in the okay, and that's what starts off the little side story. And basically, what it was that all that was filler, by the way, all of that was filler. Well, um, they had to incorporate the Hulk. I understand, but I didn't think they were gonna be on on Sakaar for that long. I didn't think so either. I didn't think something was it. That was I the was entire. I literally was expecting, and and honestly, I'm pissed about Meek. I'm pissed about the Zakarians. I'm pissed about that whole. I'm sorry. I just realized how angry I am about that section. Because that whole thing is like that storyline, those characters, the what happens on Planet Hulk is is oh, it's just it, it's to a guy who's overly nice. That was that was the, and, and mind I, you and by the way in his by, hands. by the way, Garbanzo was laughing the entire time as outraged that he is. He laughed more than me the entire time. He was yeah, tickled no, by I it. Did. I at was. First because it was it, was, it cute. was cute. Exactly. It just wasn't good in hindsight. <laughs> the trailer shows the beginning of the movie, the ending of the movie, pretty, and, pre then, pretty and much. then it kind of glimpses only only for a couple seconds in the middle of the yeah. movie, which is actually most of the, the movie. Mid yeah, they're on it for a very long time, and it it, it gets it gets. They have to escape. They have to create a a, a resistance. Okay, I'm saying right now. The whole thing is Jeff Goldblum's character. I don't even know. Like I know he's supposed to be, he's supposed to be one. They, they, they're. He Jeff Goldblum's character, the uh, the, the, supposed the, to be the Grandmaster. You know he's supposed to be one of the Eternals. He was the Saw Gerrera of Thor Ragnarok. Yes. No. Yes, he was. The acting was kind of off. He was kind of flamboyant, and he was at no way, no how, at any point, threatening or menacing. He was just. He, he had the jelly stick. The, his sidekick who was. That was a big B chick. B Butchie McPhee. See, see I changed okay. it? I didn't call her what I wanted okay. to call her. Okay, exactly. Big Butch chick. Butchie McPhee was more threatening. And even she was... Even the threatening characters were, were too comic book. The only person that showed any kind of um, remorse or anything more than just satire humor was... Um, no. What do you mean, no? Carl, Carl Urban's character. Oh, Oh, really? well, yeah. He, you, you saw, he you was, saw, you saw comedy was, in him. You saw remorse. You saw anger. You saw um, uh, defiance. You saw um, he, um, uh, right sub about being submissive. That's the only character that had any he dynamic showed, range. He actually, Carl, 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 the, 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 Carl, uh, Carl, 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 Carl Orban. Oh. Heimdale was I, wasted. I, I, but I just, oh, he this, was wasted. No, see, Heimdale for, for Heimdale is is more of a of, of more of a Saw Gerrera for me. No, he was fine. He acted like himself. I could see um, Heimdall being well, that. Being the thing is that out. I liked the way the saw was played by so, by by, 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 by in the movie. I, that's the difference. Lies, deceptions, Ragnarok. This is the most dynamic we've ever seen. The Hulk. I love it. Portrayed, I'm already, portrayed okay. in the in the. Uh, I'll MCU. be honest. I actually I love how they did it with the Hulk. I I it made me reminiscent of the. Hulk, the intelligent Hulk that, that they, they sometimes will bring out in the comics. Okay. They did say that this is supposed to be some kind of like arc for, for, for Hulk. I don't know what arc they're setting up. I didn't see anything at all. Um, and it, I, I did it, I, I did like how they explained why he was uh, able to start speaking. Apparently, uh, Sakaar has uh, a different time. So, 
he was there for two years, even though it was kind of only... Oh, wait, how long did they say he was there for? He had been there for a few months, but it could have been two years. Yeah, it was, it was like a few months, but it was two years in, in his world or whatever it was. And um, no it was kind of cool. So, so he was he was there, and that's why he was able to learn. And he basically did talk like like a like a like a like a toddler. No, no. I mean, I mean, we're talking like a, an a, maybe four, almost almost I, ready for I, school. Five, 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 six. I'd say you know, five, six. Yeah, he, yeah, a, yeah, he had a he full had, range of full range of emotion. Yes. He, well, and he pouted like like a like a toddler. So, well, but he. I mean, I mean, that was interesting. The first time I saw a pouty Hulk, that was interesting. All the other times, I. Just, I they were padding it. They, were, they, they spent too they much time with Sakaar. It was filler. They put. But the thing time. is that they could have done so much more with Sakaar. I agree. Or just taking it out completely. No. Loki. I didn't like Loki in this movie, either. He wasn't as 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 uh, maniacal and twisty as he usually is. Um, well, because it didn't suit him to be so. That's who he is. He's the god of mischief. Final thoughts, Garbanzo. Um. By the way, off camera, this man said, he, "Can I have some time to convince you it was a good movie?" He hasn't even convinced himself it was a good movie. Carry on. Overall, I the movie was fun to watch. Um, it was pretty light. It was it was it had pretty a lot of pretty light. lights. I think it that was, it, it would it would look really good on on a, on the TV if it was. Free. <laughs> Uh, I do recommend you watch it if you no, if you, fo is. If you follow is. if you following the the MCU you should watch it. Did it set up anything okay. at all for Avengers? I don't think I'm so. I'm gonna say this: this movie was strictly a, a, a kids movie. Marvel hasn't done. All right, calm down, George Lucas. Um, this is this is an episode one. <laughs> that is our non-spoiler review of Thor Ragnarok. I've been five. Oh, this is Garbanzo. And we'll be back with potentially Darflex and Juancho for a spoiler review next week, maybe, maybe two yeah. weeks yeah. after they see the movie. And we'll get deep down into it. So stay tuned for more things. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Um, follow us if you want. Yeah, we've got so much yeah. things to do. Um, uh, there's the there's there's stuff. There's plenty of stuff. Watch I, all our stuff. Uh, yeah, no, check out our previous videos. Uh, comment, subscribe. We stuff. We still have, uh, and some of that other stuff. We still have some uh, things stuff. going, giving away, aren't we? We've we're giving away stuff, but nobody wants it. So stuff. Stuff. <laughs> Geek Bros. The Hulk has a very tight green behind. That's how you want to start the episode? That's how I want to start the episode. Cue the intro. This has literally been the hardest thing for me to, to digest. And it's not even so much for anything else. Like We just finished watching this thing 30 minutes ago. I have the whole movie in my head. I can, I can give you a complete frame by frame almost. Please don't. I'm not going to. <laughs> I was so hoping that, 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 that there would be some kind of something either to replace it because in in the comics Mjolnir has been broken before and fake news <laughs> and he's got another he's got another other hammers <laughs>